What is up guys, gals, and non-binary pals? It's Victorian Genetics bringing you an impressions video of that. Tetris 99, otherwise known as, by all of us on the internet, as Tetris Battle Royale, because that's what it is. It's a battle royale. It's you versus 99 other people in Tetris. And the last one standing wins. Tetris Royale. This is an impressions video, sort of a review in a way. But I, I, as you can see, it says level 31. I'm actually like oh, close to level 33 now. This is an old-ish screenshot. And I have about 14 hours into the game now. I've won two. I'm usually within the top 10 to 30. I, I have a fairly good enough idea. And I do watch a lot of streams of it right now. I do have a fairly good idea of how the game is and what have you. But there's still a lot of mechanics to learn and stuff. So this isn't really, this is how you should play the game. It's more of just me explaining some gameplay flow and game mechanics, the sound design, the graphics. Does this make Nintendo Online worth it? Does it redeem Nintendo Online for those of us that, that already have it? Like all those sorts of questions and answers. And yeah, so if you like the video, be sure to like it because you liked it or don't. That's your prerogative. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos because I'm always uploading more videos. Leave a comment, any sort of comment, your opinions on this video, your opinions on Tetris, your opinions on the Nintendo Online service, your opinions on whatever you want to talk about. And links to Twitter, Discord, and my Twitch, which I stream on my Twitch Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 9 p.m. to blank PST. It's usually around until around 3, 3 a.m., but sometimes it gets cut early because I get tired or I have to go to work. Because I typically don't work those days, but money's so tight right now that I have to pick up whatever shifts the bosses end up telling me about. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. So, you just finished downloading the game. You boot it up. What are you going to see? Well, you're going to see something that looks a lot like this. That's it. It's very bare bones right now. It's just Tetris 99. And then stats, which stats shows you how many KOs you've gotten, how many wins, what's your highest placing so far, and all that sort of stuff. It's your basic profile career page that you see in normal battle royales and stuff like that. It's very bare bones right now. I'm hoping to see some more game modes, like maybe some squads or duos or 50 versus 50 like Fortnite once had. 25 versus 25 versus 25. You know, something like that. That would be really cool. Or like a mode to battle bots so that you can kind of get used to the mechanics a little bit would be nice. Because otherwise you're just kind of thrown right into it. And it, it kind of sucks. But it's not bad. It's it's Tetris, Tetris. Most of us have played Tetris. So most of us know how it works. So after you finish this, which this is one of the small little gripes I have. Is you get into a matchmaking queue. And the matchmaking queue takes anywhere from like... 30 seconds to a minute it feels like sometimes it might be shorter but for me personally it feels a little long like you're waiting a fair bit of time to get into a game of tetris that's going to last you like you know six to ten minutes probably it just feels a little weird when you can whenever you go and you wait a minute to get into a game of league of legends that's going to last you 40 or you wait a minute to get into a game of Fortnite or whatever that's going to last you you know way longer in general so it just feels a little weird but it's not bad it's not a bad wait time or anything it's worth it i mean i've already put in like 12 14 hours to, into the game so it's worth it it's just a small little thing so once you finish all that you get into like this basically and what this is is the starting board so there you see the blocks falling right there and then you have your little up right here you have your next six blocks like usual in a Tetris game. I think usually Tetris games only go with next five, but I'm not entirely sure on that. And then you have your up there, you have hold, which you push L, it stocks it up and then brings out the next block or swaps the blocks if it's not your first swap. And yeah, so that's the basic layout. Well, you also have this over here. Over here, you have the play, uh, your place so far. So like how many people are left, you have KOs. And then you have this right here, which is percentage up. And what percentage up is, is based on how many badges you have, you'll do more damage, which damage is throwing junk at people. 
and you get badges by KOing people. So you KO a few people, your badge builds up, you now do 25% more damage for the rest of the game. You build it up, you do 50% more for X amount of badges, and then 75% and 100. Well, the way that this is counterbalanced is through the targeting systems, basically. And since we're here, we'll go ahead and talk about targeting right now. Targeting basically is this little hexagon right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, hexagon. I got it. Um, is your targeting. And there's one control stick that you can use to move it around freely and target whoever you want. You can look at all 99 of those boards. All those boards as a player. You can look at all of them and decide on your own who you want to try and hit. But towards the later parts of the Tetris, that's a little hectic. Don't. Re it's not really plausible for all a lot of players so with that in mind they go ahead and added they added shortcuts they put shortcuts in and these shortcuts they get the job done pretty damn well overall so you have randoms which is just it's gonna fly to a new target every time you send junk pretty much there's ko's which is it's gonna target the player that is closest to being ko'd there's badges which is gonna target the players that have the most badges and then there's attackers which is the only way to multi-target with attackers, what it does is every single person that has a has a beam on you, they're aimed at you, it's going to put a hexagon on them. And any junk that you throw at somebody, it's going to throw it at, at all of them. Now, I think it's less junk because that would be kind of weird if you're sending that much junk at that many people. I feel like it's like divided slightly, but then multiplied. I don't know the exact specifics because like it's hard to watch all the other boards and see what's going on, especially since there's a slight delay on when the junk pops up. It's this little bar over here. This little bar over here builds up with junk basically and shows you what you need to be doing. And the way to get rid of junk is it either pops up on your screen and there's one little slot that is is open some usually it ends up being a straight line if it's all sent in the same junk but it's always like random for each pile of junk that gets sent at you so and basically the way to get rid of this junk is either once it pops up you clear it like a normal line or while it's in there if you score tetrises or doubles or triples or even singles and stuff because singles do send junk uh it's a very small amount though it's it's not specific i think you have to combo singles in order for them to send junk i'm not a hundred percent it's i just go and i know i have a flow that works and my mind is like subconsciously picked up things and so you what happens is whenever junk's in this little bar over here you clear out lines and any junk you would have sent to somebody else gets subtracted from there and there's a delay on when that pops up and they go, jump from colors too. They jump from yellow, there's yellow bricks over there, to being red bricks, to being flashing red bricks. And I think that's basically just a timer, but if they're yellow bricks, it feels like they clear faster. I'm not exactly sure. If you guys know anything whatsoever about the game, or you've learned anything, or through your process of playing the game you learn anything, please let me know in the comments down below. I want to know more info on the game, for sure. So what what targeting lets you do is sometimes you'll start i like to use attackers a lot but it depends on the situation obviously so with attackers it's pretty equivalent to random right if you're on attackers it's gonna jump to whoever's attacking you so if that person decides to not attack you anymore like say you were you built up to the very top and they decide oh i'm gonna go for chaos and the game targets you and then you immediately get two Tetrises and then you're not a KO anymore. It's going to flip off of you. Well, that means they're not attacking you anymore. So attackers is going to swap off of them unless you don't have any attackers, in which case I'm pretty sure it stays. So it's not always the best one to be on. It really depends on the situation. I usually only use it whenever I'm at three or more attackers because that means one of them's probably going to consistently be attacking me. I really like the targeting system overall. It, it adds another layer of nuance because basically you could just play tetris and you'll do fine you could leave it on random just play tetris don't build up badges you'll do fine overall as long as you're smart about playing tetris and you'll but it gets hard towards the end you're probably not going to get top ones unless you build up badges and you can or unless you're like a god of tetris and you just clear 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 so you could do that you could lay low 
But then what I prefer to do is I prefer to go for KOs and attackers. So if you have multiple people targeting you, you do attackers so that you'll rack up KOs just as fast as KOs or even faster in a lot of cases. Um, because sometimes it'll pop up like this. The start of your game will look like this. You'll be like multi-targeted. And then there you can see there's a hexagon on everyone. And once you clear something, it pew, sends it at everyone. This gets me KOs like faster than KOs a lot of the time. But you have to be targeted by like four or five or more people in order for it to get you more. So that you can build up badges. And here's what's fun about the targeting system in particular is the there's like a rock paper scissors type of flow to it so if you choose chaos you're killing people bam 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 you build up badges you're at like 75 percent now people could go click badges and it's all going to target you but here's the thing with that is if everybody's targeting you you switch to attackers they're all vulnerable to you while you have 75 or 100 percent damage up or whatever and you're going to send it at all of them which is going to get you more badges which is going to get you more power but they they're all targeting you obviously so you're gonna get some junk and it quickly quickly a normal board can become something like this oh see i did not scale that properly it can become something like this right here what obviously the top colored stuff is i panicked a little bit and i messed up but you get the idea and also, I wasn't being multi-targeted right there. So it's not the perfect example, but it's an example of what your board can quickly become. And it, it just gets really crazy. So you have to kind of pick and choose. You know, you go for KOs, you get badges. Badges, they target badge people, and then you target attackers. And so the badges are giving you that. But And since the ba they're targeting badges, they're not building badges for themselves because obviously you're a good player because you have plenty of badges. So you're not dying. So they're not building badges. But whoever kills a badge player gets a portion or all of their badges. So there's like a whole bunch of little trade-offs. There's a whole bunch of little techniques. You can just keep clearing singles if you want. Build a combo. Do it. You can do Tetris back to back to back. Send a whole bunch of junk. You can on the fly just do triples and doubles and Tetris is whenever they make sense you can build up the board like i've seen all different types of play styles work on all different types of streamers it's kind of up to you how you like to play tetris is how you should play it just adapt to the targeting system and you'll be you'll do pretty well overall it's it's a really fun game really really fun at the end of the day and whenever you get a victory it looks a little something like this all the ko's that are yellow are ko's that you got throughout the game and then all the KOs that are the bluish color or whatever are KOs that you didn't get. And the le the leaderboard for that game is like right here. And that's your level. So like I was level 30 during this one. And this over here is your badge, which changes every 10 levels or so. And I've been looking through all the players. I'm like one of the highest levels, if not the highest. And like I've been the highest in every single lobby. But I'm assuming there's some people that are higher than me. There's got to be. Like every time a game comes out, there's always those, those, that group of players that plays like nonstop. So I know there's people that probably know plenty of info. Anyway, really fun game. That's the gameplay side of things. We're going to get into sound and aesthetics and stuff like that in just this moment. So the sound and aesthetics overall are really, really cool. They're simple, but they have a technological galaxy type feel like you would come to expect from a Tetris game that feels really, really good. I really like watch playing the game and like it doesn't feel like you're watching something that you don't want to be watching. And this sound sucks you in like the remixes they have of common normal Tetris themes in this are beyond godlike. They are freaking amazing and they get you hooked. You want to keep playing like even, I'd argue even the music itself is a reason why my brain subconsciously is like play again so you can hear the music again. play again so you can hear the music again. They're really good. Simple and clean is the way that it's making me feel tonight. Kingdom Hearts. Not relevant though. Anyway. Like just listen to this battle theme and tell me that you do not want to start just dancing 
Like, it's the classic Tetris music, but it's hella remixed in a super vibey, cool way that just hooks you in and makes you want to keep listening. And it loops into itself really well. And you're noticing all these slight little instrumental changes and stuff that just really good. The music is really, really good. Now, let's talk about something that ties into this. It is... Ta-da! Nintendo Online. Does this game make Nintendo Online more worth it? For me, I would say it makes it more worth it. And I'm somebody that is super annoyed by the Nintendo Online offerings. They're offering us really old NES games that are just like, yeah, they're cool, they're fun, but they're fun for like a very short while because NES games as a whole weren't that time consuming or anything and you compare that to playstation and xbox which are offering you know triple a titles granted older triple a titles but still very 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 good more current titles that are only like a year to three years old usually it's lacking i know those are 60 dollars and nintendo is 20 but you compare the two services as a whole and it gets really shaky for me I would rather pay 60 for Nintendo to be good than pay 20 for it to be what it is. We were getting all of this stuff for free and then they decided we're going to charge for it now and then they gave nothing. The UI for Nintendo Online still sucks. There is no voice chat features. There is no good solid incentive. There's no dedicated servers or anything for any of their online stuff. It's just, and then you get games like Smash where the net code is pretty janky. So they aren't making it super worthwhile. So we need stuff like this to make it feel more worthwhile. If they can give us a few more Tetris 99 type games, just really solid games that you have to play online that feel really good and they're free for the online service, then yes, the service will become more worth it to just buy flat out. For those of us that are locked into having to buy this so that we can play Smash Brothers and Splatoon 2 and what have you online, this is just a bonus, which is nice. So overall, the game is good. It does redeem and help the online service feel not so janky. Like, I legitimately would be it if I had held off on buying online and I was able to hold off because of Smash and not worry about playing Smash online, I would have been like... Okay, I'm going to hold off. And then I would have saw this drop. I, there's a good chance I would have been like, okay, I could do Nintendo Online now. But I really like Tetris. I really like Battle Royales as a whole. It's a concept that I like Battle Royales, but I don't like very many of them. So for me, it would have just been like, oh, I have to try this because I try everything that's a Battle Royale. Because the formula is really fun, just hard to find stuff that clicks with me. So for me, it would have sold me on Nintendo Online. I feel like it's... It's close to being able to sell Nintendo Online to people. We just need a few more things to really nail it in. Nintendo Online is a whole nother video concept, really. A whole nother discussion to have about why I feel it's super lacking. But this is kind of just the basics because you need the basics. So in conclusion, this game is legit. I have... 12 to 14 hours into it I'm I keep obsessively playing it my switch is right here and I'm gonna go back to playing this here in a few probably I was playing that all before I even started making this video it was stopping me from making this video it keeps stopping me from watching YouTube videos because I'm just like well I need to be able to hear the music on that and hear what's going on because the sound is good and it tells you clearly like whenever chaos happen, the music starts to change slightly. It gives you like a little pings and stuff whenever <laughs> you're in danger and stuff. It's very good about audio cues, which sometimes I feel like I go faster off of audio cues than normal cues. But anyway, really, really good game. I recommend getting Nintendo Online if you already have games you want to play on Nintendo Online. I recommend getting it for this game as well as those. If you just want Tetris 99... Again, if you're going to play it super, super hardcore, you're going to go really hard on it. Like, I have 14 hours already. If you're going to get even more than that, you're just going to keep playing Tetris. Yes, get Nintendo Online for this. If you're just going to play it somewhat casually and you don't have any other games you want to play online, don't get Nintendo Online. This is really fun. 
but it's not good to have it just for small little intervals. Like it's good for like, oh, my friend's coming to pick me up in 10 minutes. I don't really want to invest time into, you know, whatever else right now. I'm just going to load up a quick game of Tetris. And te Tetris is very therapeutic for me. So it works really well for what it is. Just very finicky and weird. Anyway, that's the video. That's all that I have to say on Tetris 99. Pick it up. Pick up online so you can download this. It's not very big. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning, anything you want to talk about, we can talk about it. Uh, links to Twitter and Discord and my Twitch, which I stream on all, on the weekends, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, are in the description down below. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you all next time. Peace out.